everybody. Expedition 7, Miasma Moor. Bonus type of rock. We're going to be doing Expedition 7-1, which is level 1 for Expedition 7, with a team total requirement of 6,100. We currently are at 8,496. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. This is my favorite expedition based off of the looks of the level, and it is not an easy expedition to do. I'll tell you that much. However, I'm going to keep this on auto because I want to see how my team does while the PC is playing. I remember when you got that surfing right you. Oh my gosh. Old days. I, uh, the damage isn't that great. I'm going to tell you that much. And also my Alakazam is missing a gem slot. So hopefully one of these expeditions I get to uh, give him a decent gem. So hopefully we can complete some of these expeditions now that I've really leveled out thoroughly the Pokemon that are currently on this team. Again, Cloyster has a really good move set. Flareon has a really good move set. And Alakazam also has a really good move set. There is a couple of moves that could replace the ones that they have, but I don't want to force that at this moment in time. I'd like to see what we can do with um, with what we've got. I don't know about this icicle crash. Because I see Cloyster using it, but it's always off, way off into the distance. But Cloyster, like look at that. It's always way off into the distance. So Cloyster really doesn't use Icicle Crash. I don't like Icicle Crash anymore now. First time I've actually really seen it in action. I always kept Cloyster off into the background because, I, I mean, I never really needed him while I was leveling up. Ooh, the Deadlies. We're doing a lot of damage, I'll tell you that much. So we haven't really taken that much damage. We're facing off uh, the boss on this level, so Venomoth with Venonets. Again, Cloyster is my tank, so... Him not taking any damage yet is, uh, is a great positive so far. We're getting through this pretty good, too. Flamethrower. Uh, actually, use Fire Blast. I want to see Fire Blast on this. Nope, you're using Flamethrower. There we go, Icicle Crash actually doing damage too because Cloyster really doesn't have great attack. So to see that much damage come from Cloyster is also good. Yeah, this is my favorite level based off of looks of the expedition. I really love the theme and the color on this one. Not a huge fan of pink, but... This level actually makes it look cool. That's not the gem that I needed. I need an attacking gem. I got a sturdy. Alright, Expedition 7, level 2. Uh, team total of 6,900 is the requirement. Again, I am above that. So, I'm going to keep this on auto. We should be fine. I was definitely fine on Expedition 7, level 1. And it's good to see my team get through this with ease. However, the bosses are not going to be easy because I remember doing them before and I was nowhere near being able to complete them. So it's going to be really tough. But if I can complete this game, that is going to be amazing. Also, for those of you tuning in, as always, I will be streaming Magikarp Jump after this live stream, and I also have another live stream coming after that. So it's going to be three live streams tonight. Icicle. I don't understand Icicle Crash. Why is it so far off into the distance? I'm, I'm really tempted and hoping I get a shelter so I can replace that. With a 100% chance. Ooh, I didn't remember Pikachus being here. We get to face off against Pikachus in this expedition. That's, so this makes this expedition even better. Sucks I can't use my Raichu though. The, right, the level on my Raichu is really low. Oh, I think it's level 30. I, or I'm pretty sure it's 29, but it's around level 30. But with that Raichu being limited edition, I'm never going to get rid of it because there's no other way I can get one. 
This is where Fire Blast is needed. Yep, there we go. All that explosive damage coming from the coughings, and my team's still standing very, very strong. Ooh! I mean, Psycho Cut does a lot of damage, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the strongest moves in the game. Wow, there's this many coughings. There's been like 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 7. That's about 20 coughings that we've just faced off against after those Pikachus. They all use Explosion too. Flareon took the brute, the brunt force of all that damage, but that's because Flareon decides to be a melee Pokemon when it doesn't have to be. The boss, I remember this. Being too wheezy. This is the James from Team Rocket level. Oh, the AoE that's needed. This team's actually doing good. Flareon's not going to make it, but it's okay. Alakazam and Cloyster aren't going to take that much damage from this. Especially Cloyster. Cloyster doesn't take damage. Really slow overtime damage. And the fact that Cloyster's in between both of them, that's actually really good, because Cloyster's been tanking it up. The first Weezing's going to be down. I also have Flareon coming into the play right now. Yep, there's a gem that I needed. I'm also going to get a Legendary Gem, so let's hope it's a Mighty Stone. Because this is my Golden Expedition of the day. When your Icicle Clash actually hits. This level was actually harder than I thought it would be. It's almost time for me to start taking over the reins of this game and turn off auto. There's my legendary and it was a mighty stone. It is definitely what I needed. Oh, what? It's actually okay. It's not bad. I got to I got to equip it though. Expedition 7 level 3 in me as more. We've got a team total recommendation of 7600 and I'm just about a thousand over that. So I should still be able to keep this on auto, but it is getting to a point where I'm no longer going to be able to do that. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so this is good because we've got grass type Pokemon here. And when I say good, I mean my tank is water type, but... It's a really sturdy water type, so grass doesn't really, I mean it affects it of course, but Cloyster's OP, let's put it that way. So being grass types, my Flareon gets, sorry about that, I got hiccups, Flareon gets to do a lot of work. Also Alakazam actually does a lot of work too against Weeping Bells and Bell Sprouts and stuff with his, uh, with his abilities here. The healing over time is actually working pretty well too. My team got that healing over time effect, Sam. These legendary gems doing their work. They're almost back to full health. Wow. I'm assuming Victory Bell is the boss on this one, another James themed Pokemon. There we go. Ooh, there's actually an Executor here too. Not the Alolan type though, sadly. But it's interesting, but my Alakazam can take care of that Executor very, very easily. As you guys can see, it's critting hard on that one with super effective abilities. My Flareon's actually still doing pretty well too. This level seemed to be much easier than the last one. I can barely see the boss. There we go. That's a better angle. That vine whip, though. Look at Cloyster's health, guys. Tell me Cloyster's not OP. I mean, I know there's better tanks in the game than Cloyster, but I haven't yet been able to get one at a decent enough level to evolve them and level them up. For example, Golem's what I'm looking for.
Hmm, that could be a decent sturdy stone. We'll figure that one out. Expedition 7 level 4. We're now getting there to where it's close to my level range. So it's 8200 as the uh, required level, but it's not always needed. You can do it as a lower level, but we're at 8700. So we're about 500 over. So I'm going to keep this on auto because the last one we did pretty good. I'm just starting to get scared that I'm not going to be able to complete Expedition 7 now. So poison type Pokemon here. Uh, Alakazam is going to go on a super effectiveness spree. Also, uh, Flareon gets to do pretty good against Parasects too, so not too bad so far this one. The boss for Expedition 7 is about 12,000 team requirement, and I'm only at 8, so it's another 4,000 higher than me. I wonder if I'm going to be able to complete that. I don't remember who the boss was either, so that's that's the that's the tough thing. If I remembered what the boss was, I can kind of remember what my strats were that I was trying to use back in the day. But we'll be able to figure this out. We'll try it. All right, so let's see who the boss of this one is. So far, my team hasn't really taken any damage. It's Muck, so we're, we're, we should be fine. Another Team Rocket favorite. Oh, defensive muck. Okay, I remember this one. This was just a long, a long battle, but it wasn't too bad. Definitely was nowhere near as long as that one uh, golem battle we had back in the day when I had just Shelter as my tank. Shelter wouldn't die, so that was a good thing, but it was it wouldn't do any damage. So <laughs> it took me forever to kill that one. Muck was kind of in the same boat, but muck's not that good. Especially because all three of my Pokemon are actually pretty good. Ooh, bringing out the Grimers midway. I wonder if they're ever going to do any upgrade updates to this game. Like bring in different generations or different islands for the future. To be honest, I don't think they will. They kind of just release mobile games or um, online games and just run with it. And let it do what it needs to do. So I don't really think they're going to bring any updates to this game. They might, though. This is a pretty decent game, so I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. But since they haven't put anything on the shop, I don't think they're going to focus on this game too much because they're not making too much money off of this. This is just a fun free game that they probably wanted to release for the cell phones or mobile devices and, of course, the Switch and tablets. Alakazam actually died this level, so I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared that the next level's going to be where I need to take over, and that is what's going to happen. Okay, so all I got left is uh, Cloyster. And this is going to be frustrating. Cloyster won't die, but it's going to take a long time for me to finish this one off. In before Cloyster dies. Because Alakazam is not attacking. Okay, we got through that. But that's not as clean as I wanted it to be. Got a lot of cooking regions, though. That was a positive. The leveling experience is not that great, though. They also were probably like, see, we have mobile games, too. <laughs> yeah. 239. Alrighty, so Expedition 7 level 5 with a team total of 10,800 as the requirement. I only have 8,800 and 5. So I'm 2,000 off of the actual requirements. However, I have completed this level before with the current team that I have. So let's just hope I'm able to do it again. I am no longer doing this on auto because now we're getting into the tough expeditions. Taking huge jumps and huge leaps. And I haven't played this game in forever, being not on auto, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, the icicle clash is going to work. Oh, it didn't work. What sucks is this angle.
But the angle is also working for me because Flareon just gets to smash on him. <laughs> Okay, let's go for Psycho Cut here. Got a lot of AoE type moves, so it's good. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Icicle Clash. I'm going to have to get rid of that move. It's just not working. I really need Ice Beam. Because if I can freeze bosses, that's going to be a huge... Okay, Dazzling Gleam does not look like a Dazzling Gleam ability. I always thought that was Psycho Cut the whole time he was using it. Psycho Cut I know is good. Yeah. Alright, so that one's going to die. That one's also going to be dead. So we're doing good so far. Alakazam's actually the only one really taking damage here. Gonna take forever to kill this Kakuna. I gotta get him when his defense is low. There we go. Okay, so let's actually wait. Get some heal over time. I'm just gonna keep making my Pokemon run away so they can max heal. So we gotta face off against a Vile Plume. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Is it going to be doable though? That's the question. Let's actually go with the Dazzling Gloom here. Alakazam's almost dead. Not good. I need to get another Fire Blast off. Fire Blast is not working. This is terrible. I don't know how I was able to complete this before. I really don't. Actually, Ice Go Crash can come in handy. Let me see if I can pull it. Nope, didn't pull it off. I wanted him to run the other way. So that was the issue before. Poison. If you can get a burn off, that'd be great. Sadly, Alakazam decided to move you. Um, let's get a Psycho Cut off before you die. Oh wow, we actually completed that. Interesting. Oh, I, I, I know, because this is all based off of colors. But it's not too bad. If you're colorblind, it that should actually make this a lot more basic than what we see. Ooh! A 380, oh my gosh, we just got two upgrades and they're massive. I can get um, pincer and we're going to go ahead and accomplish this right now. And we're going to use all of our attempts today on Miasma Moore, level 7. Alright, boss time, 12,500 Miasma Moore. Oh my gosh, it's, uh, I'm nowhere near it, uh, rating wise, but, uh, we're gonna do what we can do, and hopefully we can do this, let's put it that way. Um, it's just a difficult level, main reason is, uh, you face off against a Pinsir or a Scyther at the end. Oh my gosh, when you're already facing off against different mobs, it's crazy, it's on the Cray level, fam, it's on the Cray. I'm actually, I'm, I'm shaking when I'm playing this, so it's not helping. It's not helping at all. Playing this right now and shaking. Get some knockbacks out. So, what's nice, um, is I kind of know what to do when it comes to, uh, Pinsir and Scyther. They are both difficult. Um, I find that... I find Pinsir to be a little bit easier, even though Flareon, I mean, Flareon's good against both. I I just find the Pinsir to be a lot easier. Oh no, I forgot about that. We got lucky there. I forgot about the Execute uh, being able to um, explode like that. I'm letting Cloyster go in first, because this is actually great, if he can. Oh, 
Um, not the best of flamethrowers. And uh, I don't really want my boy taking too much damage here, so I'm going to have him rock that. Get a fire blast out. It's going to do a lot of damage in a close quarter combat situation like this. Uh, actually, I am failing this right now really bad. I need to... Yeah, I gotta do one more, please. I didn't have withdraw up. That explosion, though. <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't even an explosion. It was just a lot of damage. Holy crap. Um, yeah. Uh, let's... We're gonna have to withdraw. The longer this fight lasts, the better. Because I need to get Jaboy up. Flareon's almost up, so we're good. Alright, keep running away because we're about to go to the boss. I need to stall as much time as possible. Pincer, okay. Pincer and Parasite. Scyther is the rare of the two to get. Actually, Scyther is really rare to get. Um, I'm really focused right now, guys, so I do apologize if I'm not talking too much, but both of my Pokemon are already dead. And, whoops, and one of them just does not want to move. There we go. Get an attack out. Actually, move, 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 move. You're not moving. See, it's a bad situation where I currently am. There we go. Actually, no, you're going to make it worse in a couple seconds here. This is not good. Can we get a burn off, please? Run away. I'm trying to keep Cloyster up, but it's not working. I've actually made this a mess. I've made this a huge mess because Cloyster does not have withdraw anymore. Ah, uh, now he's sleeping. This is not good. Um, how we take care of this? Uh, we do a little quick maneuver. Get a fire blast off and run because he has to come this way through the fire blast and he won't attack while that's going on. Um, again, close quarters. I'm trying to keep him in that corner. I can't believe this. So easy. It's so damn easy when you know the strats to pull off. I did this in one. Sh I one shot at this, guys. I absolutely just one shot at Expedition Seven. This is crazy. Oh, we completed a new expedition, guys. Again, Scyther is doable for me. Oh, look at these. 463 and 445. Absolutely amazing. But just a quick heads up. Expedition 7. You can get either Scyther or Pinsir on that last level. Scyther is a little bit more rare to find than Pinsir. But um, again, it is also very easy to, uh, to defeat both. They're very, very similar. Just... Scyther is a lot quicker than Pinsir. Pinsir does a lot more deathly uh, damage.